Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending good energy, sending positivity and blessings to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, so I am about, like I said, 75, 80% better. Um, thank you so much again for the well wishes. We are trying to get back to 100%, of course. Uh, but we are talking Real Housewives of Potomac. We are talking about the alleged rumors that the show's on hiatus, you guys. That the show is on hiatus because there potentially is going to be a major cast shakeup after the backlash of this past season in particular, and past several seasons, right? But everything has come to a head uh, because of Robin Dixon, you guys, right? And so some of you are thinking, oh, she'll be back. She has a storyline, right? Because of the alleged side chicks, because of, you know, Juan now getting fired from Coppin State, that, oh, she has a storyline, so she should definitely be back. But rumor has it, she still has not had a contract yet. Rumor has it, she has not received her contract for season eight. And it sounds like what their approach is going to be is kind of what took place with what they did with the delay with Real Housewives of New York. And they've done this with a few of the franchises where things that got so out of hand the previous season that they basically tried to regroup. They tried to do a cash shakeup of some sort and really try to find the right housewives to fit in with the cast, you guys. And so now they're really also taking a look at Giselle as well, you know, trying to see how she can stand alone and have her own storyline because... She essentially is the, you know, default producer without the producer credit, essentially, basically facilitating a lot of these storylines and things of that nature. Um, so, but she has to bring something, right? And so I think what's happening now, what's being alleged is she's basically trying to convince Bravo to bring back Robin, but they don't want to bring her back. They're pissed because how dare you not only not share your entire life, you know, with us during filming but then you brag about it on your podcast to pay for a patreon to get the actual tea which really was a lot of sewer water so why 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 would they want to deal with that and then Juan's not compliant with filming anymore so in order for Robin to come back and in the slight chance she did come back it would have to be as a friend rule but that's if one is willing to film as well and that is if robin is going to be transparent about her life instead of her and her husband gaslighting the fans on social media i mean it's just it's just rich like you your husband juan is up here joking about being seen with another coach at the laundromat only for him to end up losing his job anyways when it was all said and done right and obviously, for legal purposes, there's certain things they're not going to talk about the SA lawsuit, the scandal that took place at Coppin State, but they can definitely talk about him being fired, and they definitely can talk about him, you know, allegedly with these mistresses and everything else and the like, right? And Giselle's already on the PR tour, also saying, oh, well, you know, Juan got fired because he had a really bad record. Here's the thing, Juan sucked as a coach for a very long time, you guys. And they should have fired him a long time ago if it was truly about the record. But there was benefits to having him there, such as the clout and the attention that Real Housewives of Potomac receives, right? That could lead to donors, you know, wanting to donate to the program and things of that nature by having Juan being the face, right? A former NBA player and everything else that comes with that and his wife being on a reality show, right? So, um, but with all that being said, I mean, between the distractions of Juan himself and his side chicks, and of course the cover up of the SA that took place at the school, uh, you know, there, there was no way that they could have, you know, kept him another season. It just wasn't going to be a good look. Right. And we still don't know yet. Ultimately what's going to be the outcome of this lawsuit, but it sounds like Bravo finally is listening to the people. Right. And it doesn't help matters that their former former producer Carlos King is all over YouTube you guys you know dragging the show left and right and and everything else so they're regrouping right so there's probably going to be a delay whenever season eight starts right and essentially it's going to be you know 
do or die right it's gonna be do or die because what has happened now this show has focused in on just zeroing in on one person to try to attack them and attack their husband and make it miserable for them right we've seen it happen to monique we've seen it happen to uh wendy we've ha seen it happen to candace and and then when it they go after the housewife now they go after the husband we've seen it happen to karen uh, multiple times so much that they were even trying to regurgitate old tea from season two to try to make happen on this season like it just wasn't a good look so i imagine they're gonna try to find you know somebody to try to see what they can do if they in fact do intend on getting rid of robin and do not you know foresee for her coming back right and I knew that was a possibility ever since the lawsuit was about, right? That she was not going to come back, right? Regardless of what happened with this cheating scandal, regardless of her getting married, regardless of her, you know, going to her Patreon to spill tea that she could have spilled while she was filming the show and everything else. Um, but I just, I don't know. I feel like she's worn out her welcome with Bravo. I think Bravo is really pissed with her, you guys. I think they are really pissed with her, right? And so I think now with Juan losing his job and her potentially losing hers and they have that big old house that they just got and got married and everything else. Did they get a prenup? Like, like, I think they might be done with her, right? Because we're seeing now there is a big fallout. There is a big scandal with Bravo making way too many reputative publications right now about the authenticity of their reality shows, which is a huge problem that they have. Because once you're in the New York Post, once you're in Cosmopolitan and all these publications, the Rolling Stone even is after them saying you're not being authentic do we need to dead real housewife shows until you can get it together you know what my advice is my advice is they just need to continue doing the real housewives of girls trips where it's a compilation of your favorite housewives from several franchises and they go somewhere for a week or two and then you see what drama is going to be facilitated from that or from old or unresolved storylines from when they were last on their previous shows and things of that nature and and do with it that way right do that for a couple of years and then circle back with each of these housewife shows because they're all getting stale, right? They're all getting stale because when you do the same thing on all of the shows, there's nothing to look forward to anymore. If the goal is to just gang up on one person for the entire season, why do I need to tune in? If you're not going to be transparent about your real lives and I can see your real lives happening real time, unfolding via social media, why do I need to tune into the show? There's no mystery, right? And if you're going to lie to me about what's going on in your life on camera and then the truth comes out anyways off camera while the show is airing or shortly after the show concludes, why should I tune into your show if it's not quote unquote real? If you're not being transparent for the cameras. So this is going to be very interesting to see ultimately what takes place with this. How much power Giselle really does have as far as it is concerned of keeping Robin. Um, even if it's as a friend of. I think Robin's done. Um, unless, you know, Giselle is going to work some type of miracle to bring her back. I think, I think she's done. I think, like I said, she weren't at her welcome. She lied to the people and she pissed off a lot of fans, right? But production also has to hold this L because there's no reason that they should have allowed this show to get out of this hand. This show used to be a show that was supposed to originally focus in about how these women were networking via charities and how they were with the big movers and shakers of the DC Potomac area. And that has completely fell at the wayside. And now it is all about who can they destroy whose lives they can destroy the most per season. And that's just not what we want to tune in for, right? That's not a sisterhood. That's not entertaining television, right? So there is that. So if you have not already, please subscribe to my second channel, Anonymous Tea Podcast, where we talk true crime, where we talk current events, where we talk a little bit about sports, where we talk about, uh, you know, things that are going to be affecting uh, the black community uh, moving forward and everything else. 
um please tune in please subscribe we got some good content that's uploading for this weekend um that you do not want to miss uh to my subscribers to those of you who've been rocking with me thank you so much for your continued support this is all for you this is all because of you so thank you so much for tuning in um to anybody who is new to the channel or who is a new subscriber please check out my old content get familiar with the lay of the land um and please come back again i uh, and tune in for more um and with that being said please do not forget to like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment i post content on my channel and with that being said i'll talk to you guys again very soon